Alright then my friends, so in the last video we faced the problem of going to a recipe that doesn't exist and we get this fallback page and we continue to get this fallback page and we just sit here waiting for the content to load unaware that this recipe doesn't exist. So we need a way to redirect the user instead when a recipe doesn't exist to maybe the home page. So the way we do that is by coming up to our slug component and this is where we're trying to get the data. So remember, when we use a fallback page, it reruns this function to try and get the data again using the slug. Now, we need to check, does that item actually exist? Did you manage to get some data? Well, remember items is an array, okay? And if it got the data, that array will have a length of one, I presume. Now, if it didn't get the data, that array is not gonna have length. So we wanna check if the array after this doesn't have length, at that point we wanna redirect them instead of trying to inject props and continue to render this component. So let's do that. So what I'll do is an if statement and I'll say if not items.length. So the length of this array right here, meaning if we don't have a length, if there's no items inside it, then we want to return something else. So the thing we want to return is an object and inside that we have a redirect property, which is an object as well. And we say where the destination is. So where do we want to redirect the user? Well, I just want to go to forward slash, which is the home page. And also I'm going to say this is not a permanent redirect. So permanent is going to be set to false because in the future we might have a recipe with this slug or flug. Okay. So this is how we do the conditional redirect. We check for the item's length and if there's no length, then we can return an object with a redirect property and say where we want to go to. So that's all there is to it. Dead simple. I'm going to save this. I'm going to add this to GitHub. We need a commit message as well. So I'm just going to say that's redirect. If I can spell it, that is redirect. And then I'm going to push this. So let's wait for this to run its course. And when it's done, if we go over to our deployments over here, then we should see a new one is being built. Okay, so when that's done, let's click into this and visit in a browser. And if we try to go to a random recipe that doesn't exist, so forward slash recipes and then any old rubbish after that, press enter, we see the fallback infinitesimally and then we get redirected to the home page because it doesn't exist. Okay, so that's how we do a conditional redirect. Next up, we're going to create a custom 404 page.